Alright, hey guys and gals, we're back. About to do another path guide. This time we're doing it for the fire swapper, Blast Zone. Blast and furious. He's grown on me quite a bit once you upgrade him just a bit. So, let's get right to his upgrades. So we've got his top first. We've got Bomb Throw. Press Y on the Wii U gamepad to throw a bomb that attacks enemies. Flame Breath. Hold X on the gamepad while turning to create a wall of fire that damages nearby enemies. Power Bombs. Press Y on the gamepad to throw bombs that do increased damage. Sticky Bombs. These are fun. Hold Y on the gamepad to charge a bomb, release it, and to throw a time Sticky Bomb. It's really cool. You'll charge it up, it turns into like this little red ball, and it just sticks. It's like a grenade. It's really neat. And then for his bottom path, I mean, I'm sorry, his top path, I chose reaction, yeah, reaction satisfaction path. So we got Ring of Fire. Creating a full circle with flame breath causes a massive explosion. And we've got Ring Blast. Ring of Fire does increased damage in a larger area. And then the Soul Gem is Bomb Party. New armor enhancements allow two bombs to be thrown at once. And I chose that path on purpose. I knew it wasn't going to be as good. In the bottom, we've got Rocket Dash. Hold A on the gamepad to uh, dash around with Rocket Boots. Ready for Blast Off. Hold A on the gamepad to charge a Rocket Dash and deal damage to nearby enemies. Armor Plating. Armor is increased. Hot off the steel presses. I like the way they were witty about that. Fuel for the fire. Hold A on the gamepad to dash. Dashing now lasts for as long as A is held. And then for his bottom path, I chose the uh, temperatures rising path this time. So we've got flamed. A fiery R appears after dashing, which damages any nearby enemy. It's kind of cool. It's like this fire shield just surrounds him. And then too hot to handle. An even more powerful fire R appears at the end of dashing. And then we've got his soul gem, which is hot feet. A fire trail is left behind while dashing that damages enemies. So without further ado, let's pop this bad boy into some battle gameplay, huh? Yeah. That sounds like a swell idea, Dubby Drums. That's what I thought. Furious. Super hungry gobble pods. All right, here we go. Ready. Three, two, one. Fight. Stage one. So here's our bombs. We can charge a bomb, see how it turns red? Isn't that cool? We gotta wait for a stronger enemy so it actually sticks. And we've got the dash attack. Oh, I didn't remember that. Oh, cow, holy cow, you can actually hold it. I forgot all about this. Wow. That's gonna be great on the other path. Holy cow. Because then he gets the uh, increased fire attack. Holy cow, that's gonna be great. There's the sticky bomb again. And then we got the flame breath. See, I was disappointed with what this did. It really isn't that good. It's just a little bit of a knockback. See? Have fun with those sticky bombs in PvP. You're gonna love them. I don't think you want to touch me, sir. I've got a flame wheel on. Bonus stage. Stop the food thief before he escapes. What if I send a sticky bomb on you? Oh. Ah, come on. The food thief is escaping. Power up grabbed. Why is his range so ridiculous when they were right in front of him? Whatever. Cages have appeared. Yeah, I think the fire shield is phenomenal for story mode. PvP, I don't know. I feel the dash attack is going to be so much more useful because now you can charge it and keep going. Like, I can just keep 
dashing around. Look how cool that is. Encase them with fire. Guess they let their guards down. Jeez. Here we go. So that is Blaston, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more path guides in the future. I'm going to reset them, of course, and do his other paths. So thank you so much for watching again, and uh, God bless, guys. Peace!